for a What? What? Okay. Yeah. You're going to grab you a monster? Yes, please. Where do I get the monster? At the monster truck. Where's the monster truck? Go look for it. I... It's right here. 12 o'clock, baby. 12 o'clock? <laughs> no, it's not 12 o'clock. It's like 10 o'clock. I'll go get your monster. A blue one? Okay. Check it out. This is the new wrap on the uh, Signature Auto House Audi R8. It's kind of a sharp edged yellow, black, white. Wait a second. So you know how snow camo is usually just black, gray, and white? So I guess, is, this, is this intended to camouflage yourself against yellow snow? Take it. A lot more flashy than the previous wrap, which is you know just the base yellow, base blue color with some uh, wrapped bits. Good start, 2018. All right, so Acura is out here, and uh, looks at the product few cars. Here's the NSX. Here's the old TSX, and this is the new TLX. I mean, it looks it's an improvement. I mean, look at that. That shield is just hideous. So this is the new TLX. Switch to from the B grill to this wide V grill. Looks like someone uh, decked it out with Vossens. This is an A spec model. Has the 290 horsepower VTEC V6. Probably a J35. With the same 3.5 liter V6. They haven't changed since the 90s. Checking out the interior. It doesn't really look like anything special. You know. I guess that's the thing. Like Acura doesn't make cars that are like awesome and cool and badass. Other than the other than the NSX. It just makes cars that are okay. Like, check out the interior. It's not flashy. It's not, like, super nice. It's just, it's okay. It's not bad. But also, that's kind of the problem, because then you look at the interior of, like, a 3 Series, and it's like, holy shit, this is awesome. Check out the interior for the NSX. And it's like, it's... I mean, it's a, it's a bit more sportier. It's got the carbon carbon fiber uh, steering wheel, but at the end of the day, it's not like super flashy, like a like a Huracan or a 650S. It's just it's okay. This guy just showed up, BMW Z8. Take a quick look at the interior. Let's get the center cluster. It's a neat car. Manual shifter. Whoa, check this out. So next to my 240 is this badass kooky. So looks like he decked it out with the JDM front bumper. Or it might be a JDM style front bumper. It's got a look at this LS engine. It's an LS1 with a uh, run oil filter kit. So making those oil change oil, those oil changes a little bit faster. It's got an intake, exhaust. The uh, it's all tubbed. Probably set up as a drift car. Real nice. And then see this wide body kit. Real nice. Got to figure out what kit this is. Like the, uh, the method of attachment, the Zeus clips, with the full setup back here. And wow, really nice. Oversteer. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
single exit exhaust. Stickers all, so many stickers you can't see out the back. Oh wow, check out the interior. Done up really well. I gotta ask him how we got that, uh, that gauge panel. That would be perfect for my car. No carpets. Luis, looks like it's got a roll cage too. Wink mirror in the top. Oh, that's the, uh, that's, this spike is the, uh, actually it's hydraulic handbrake. I wouldn't want that in my car simply because it'll probably impale me. I mean, come on. Uh, what else we got? Manual shifter. This is a really well done car. I like it. You know, oh, check that out. Only one gauge. That's all you need. Everything else, oil pressure, water temperature, uh, oil temperature, real nice. Well done car. I like it. All right, so I'm in the supercar section. We're starting with the Revolve NSX. The Revolve is a service that lets you like, I guess you pay a certain monthly fee and then you can bounce in and out of different cars that they have uh, available. And here's another NSX with HRE wheels. Real nice, I like those wheels. Kind of a split drive step. Here's a exotic car hacks, PJ's 570S. Also on HRA wheels. Coming over here. Got a blue NSX. There's a red Ford GT. A white Ferrari 512. F12. <laughs> Let's see. Black Ford GT. There's a Rolls Royce with a huge, huge V8 engine. Look at this. So you can go fast in style. Aston Martin Vantage or, or DB9. They all look the same to me. Lotus Elise. Easiest car to park. California. Oh, check this out. A Fast and Furious Supra. <laughs> Very well done. It's another Rolls Royce. Back your NSX. It was Shane's uh, Porsche Turbo, 911 Turbo. Right there. What else is out here? A couple Corvettes. There's a Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera there. Uh, let's see. Looks like an F355, maybe. And a 570S. 562 horsepower. Oh, Holy crap, so we're in the Jeep section. Look at all these cool Jeeps. And look at this thing. It's literally covered in mud. Like this is actual, 100% real mud. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool when you're actually using your Jeep for, you know, what it's intended for. Though you gotta be a little careful, you know, that, uh, that radiator being covered in mud. You know, being caked in there is usually not good. Uh, you want, you kind of want air to flow through that, but yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, look at that. Typically, you just see Jeeps like this, where it's all super clean and not dirty, but this is just covered in the stuff, and it's awesome. You know, it almost makes you want to get a Jeep. What else is out here? Pedal Commander. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, so this is an all Jeep section. We got old Jeeps, new Jeeps, white Jeeps, purple Jeeps, Jeeps of all kinds. There's a Gulf livery scrambler. It's pretty nifty. The Rubicon. I dig it. All right, boys and girls. The show's cleared out. I'm going to be uh, hopping my car going home, so I'll catch you guys later. 
If you like that, subscribe. And if you also like that, you should also uh, hit like. Yeah.